-hmm. and you know working with the right people who will allow you to scale also changes your mindset because you change your environment and it took me changing my environment to change my mindset So before we get into the topic, so a little background story. So me and Nate here, we met this year, Thanksgiving. Uh, he's basically like my new cousin now. Yeah, then we were at the table this year and um, me and him are the same age, me and Nate. And we just started bonding off of our year, bonding off of like, you know, the things that we have to go through and like kind of just reflecting, not going too deep, but just kind of sharing. So like I, I decided that we should have this conversation again, you know, just kind of talk about our year. But um. I'm not sure about for you, but like, was this year, was it different for you? So this year, 2021, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, it's been better than 2020. I can tell you that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like what specifically, like, so like this year, if you can recall, I'm not sure if you want to go back to the beginning or if you remember like from January, February, March, like how did your year begin? We'll say that. So how did your year begin? Oh man. So my year began, so I was, I was at a job that I really, really disliked. Okay. Uh, actually, I would say I hated. Uh, it was a yeah. nice, you know, IT job, but it was just, I just uh, stuck with that job because of COVID. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, that was a challenge as it, as it is. And, and then, of course, you know, just living through the COVID times and doing all of these things from January to, to June. Mm -hmm. And then June was the pivot point for my life. Uh, I got a nice new job, relationship change financial change, everything just kind of hit all at once mm -hmm. in the positive and it just works, you know, worked well in my favor and it just reshaped my entire year mm -hmm. where I was able to have a, you know, truly positive outlook on what's to come moving forward. So mm -hmm. 2021 has been treating me well so far. So I was working at this place called Toast, which was a software company, a point of sales. They just handle restaurant management. Uh, I worked there from November, 2019 until April of 2020. They let go of people, you know, because, you know, Restaurants were closing. Um, most of our revenue was based on subscriptions. And so they had to let people go. So um, the only it job sucks. I know. I could get, yeah, you know, it happens. But, you know, I, I saw it coming. Like I knew like a month. I was like, this isn't going to work out. You know, I just, you know, I kind of knew it. And so uh, I was just like, all right, I'm going to go back to FedEx. And so I, I don't like FedEx, but it gives me a lot of time to reflect. And so mm -hmm. I worked at FedEx for about nine months, six days a week, saved a lot, bought a bunch of stocks. I think I told you the story before. I just stayed there until January. So basically from April 2020 to January of this year, uh, then I left. And so since, I mean, this year was like my first year stepping out and just, I don't know, just taking you know, a leap of faith, uh, understanding that there are some things that I want to do. And I know that a lot of people, you know, when you do something that, you know, it's not necessarily popular or, you know, it's not the norm, you know, people kind of. I don't know. I'm not sure if you get this as well, but like if you're doing something that's different or you have a different mentality, it's almost like it's almost an attack on other people sometimes. I'm not sure if you feel that way. But, yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of based what I went through. But yeah, I'm not sure. Have you had that like, you know, with you transitioning from your job you had beginning of this year until now, you know, like what is what are some of the changes that you've noticed? Oh, man. Oh, I can go into that uh, for a while. So. With the, the company that I left, I'll tell you, you know, kind of what happened. So me at my age beat up a multi-million dollar company. Uh, they, they weren't listening to what I was trying to tell them about cybersecurity. Uh, so, so they were getting bought out by a merger. And, and I'm like, hey, you know, when you get bought out by a bigger company, you will be susceptible to being hacked 10 mm -hmm. times out of 10. And um, they got, they got hacked prior to me getting there. And then when I got there, I uh, helped the company avoid two major hacks for their financial department. And I saved the company $10 million throughout the entire process of me being there for only a year. So I had to, you know, beat up a CEO who's making, you know, over 400K a year. He's been in the game for 20 years. And he was like, why should I listen to you? And I'm like, well, you know, I have certifications in cybersecurity and I've, and I've been doing this for 10 years. You need to listen to me because tech moves a lot faster than the, than the finance industry. Mm -hmm. So after beating up on the CEO, the CFO uh, and, you know, several uh, other um, executives, they finally got it. 
-hmm. but I just wasn't, you know, happy there. So one thing that, you know, maybe that, that, that really made me jump and, and this kind of goes into the, uh, mentality thing is, you know, knowing your, your, your value and when to step into your greatness. And, um, with this, this company, when, when COVID happened, I went from zero to 100 really quick mm -hmm. and they cut everyone's pay, which is crazy. And I was only there for like two weeks and they cut everyone's pay to save the company's butts and to pay off the executives, which really pissed me off. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's, a, that's crazy. Right. I'm like, that, that's not good. That's something you see off of, you know, a movie. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I asked them several, uh, several times, Hey, may I have a pay raise? You know, uh, I've saved your company 10 million plus dollars and mm -hmm. I've done all these major things. Uh, and I'm young. I'm like, come on, 28 doing these major things, stuff way outside my you know, scope of expertise that I actually mastered being in that, in that company. And they turned me down several times mm -hmm. and I got beat up, ridiculed, mm -hmm. laughed at, mocked, called a kid. It was a, uh, it was pretty intense and it made me, um, you know, uh, I guess go against myself on what I, I knew. So like it, it had me second guessing myself on, Hey, did I, you know, go to school for computer science only to be wrong? Did I go to Harvard university and take a cybersecurity course and pass only to be wrong? Did I study all of these things and certifications just to be wrong? And they made me feel like I was wrong every single time mm -hmm. when I was actually right. Uh, and I'll get into that. So going through getting mentally beat down and then seeing that, wait a minute, this company has it wrong. I have it right. And I've asked bigger companies like Dell, Deloitte, um, you know, Barclays, hey, how did your IT guys, you know, or like, how would they handle something that happened like this? And they were like, exactly how you did, man. So yes. you're good. So that kind of, you know, gave me a, a boost. Mm -hmm. So after, um, you know, kind of going through, like, I guess going through that fire, Mm -hmm. coming out with a positive note at this new company uh and this new company is fantastic they're like dude you're awesome mm -hmm. i i had to re-step into my my greatness by you know figuring out hey i do have or i i uh i i can add value and i do have a lot of value to offer and being at that company really beat me down and i forgot who the heck nathan peoples was mm -hmm. that's the thing this company made me forget who the hell i was and, and as soon as I left, I jumped into this new company and they were like, we know exactly who you are. We want you to come here. We'll pay you whatever it takes to get you out of that company into ours because you have IT skills, director skills. We know your, your value and we're willing to compensate that and give you a peace of mind and a work balanced life so you can actually enjoy your life and live the life you want to live and be happy and, you know, have, have weekends off. Mm -hmm. So after that, it just made me reassess what I need to do and prioritize. And that came with a mindset shift on, oh man, you know, the, oh, I, I got to work, 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 and not optimizing and maximizing to a new shift where, hey, I got to optimize, maximize based on, you know, my performance and how well I do so I can scale. Mm -hmm. And, you know, working with the right people who will allow you to scale also changes your mindset because you change your environment. And it took me changing my environment to change my mindset. Because when I was at that last company, it was a toxic environment, toxic mindset. It got to me, it got to pretty much everybody. Mm -hmm. And people were dropping like flies. And I was one of the main people who dropped, not like a fly, but as the as part of the mass exodus for 2021, mm -hmm. when people were like leaving for remote jobs, mm -hmm. I was a part of that historical movement. And I just left to bigger and brighter things. And I've been happier ever since. And it started with that you know, shift of, I value myself enough to walk away from a crazy situation like that to a positive outcome. Hmm. That was beautiful. No, I think you did the right thing. And, you know, one, one, touching on the first thing that you talked about, you know, you know, kind of a contradicting yourself, wondering if you were wrong, but I think it's not necessarily that you're wrong. It's just that, you know, someone else doesn't necessarily agree with your stance, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that's one thing. But then also, you know, with you changing your environment, it reminds me of earlier this year, I transplant, I uh, transplanted this um this avocado tree into a bigger pot, and so what I learned is, you know, sometimes when you're in a constricted environment where your roots, you know, it's more or less you're you have hit your your, your zenith per se, and you can't grow anymore, and now you've hit your limit, and so now it's time for you to change it to a new pot. So now you have this new pot, new soil, new environment. You have more space to actually expand, do what you need to do, and so yeah, man, that's beautiful. Congrats, by the way. Hey, thanks, man. It was not easy. I had to take a leap of faith mm -hmm. to, you know, go against a multi-million dollar company and I won. 
So, yeah. you know, that's that's not something that you see every day. Mm, of course, of course. But you did. So, yeah, you know, going to, going forward this next year, now you have that skill set. Now you have that, you know, the reassurance from yourself that like, all right, I can, you know, I can believe in myself. You know, you have that you know, intuition to know that you you have the ability to make the right decision. So, yeah, that's what's up.